Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to make this packaging design mockup using Photoshop. I am in Photoshop now. First I am going to create a new file with the size of 3000 by 3000 pixels and the resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Now go to the file menu and select place embedded. I am going to select this image and place. Check the description below for all the images used in this video. After adding the image, go to the select menu and select subject. It will automatically make the selection of this packet. Now use Ctrl and Z to duplicate the selection and after that you can delete the below layer. Let's rename the layer to chips bag. Now make a 3D copy of chips bag using the shortcut key Ctrl and J. And I'm going to rename it one by one. Shadows. Highlights. And midtones. After that, let's hide all three layer. Then select the chips back layer. Now go to the file menu and choose place embedded. Now I'm going to select this design image then place. I'm going to select the half image using the rectangular murky tool. Then using the shortcut Ctrl and J make a duplicate of the selection. Then delete the below layer. Let's rename it design. Now hold Ctrl and T to transform the layer. And I am going to adjust its size and position to match with the chips bag. Change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And then right click and select warp. Let's adjust it according to the chips bag. After adjusting the image, right click to the design layer and then create clipping mask. Now let's turn on the shadows layer and change the blending mode from normal to color burn. You can also select linear burn. Now go to the image menu, adjustments and then labels. Play with the output labels and input labels to make a nice and realistic shadows area on the chips bag. Now go to the highlights layer and change the blending mode from normal to linear DAWs. Again go to the image menu, adjustment then labels. This time we need highlights on the packet, that's why adjust the input and output labels to maintain a nice highlight. After that, now unhide the midtones layer, then change the blending mode from normal to screen. Then for the last time, go to the image menu, adjustment, then labels. I am going to adjust the input and output labels again to give it a nice soft light. After that, create a curves adjustment layer on the top of all layers. I am going to adjust the curves to give it a strong vibrant and contrast. 
Now it looks nice and realistic. After that, select the Midtones layer, then go to the File menu and place Embedded. I'm going to select Chips Image, then click Place. Let's make it small and put it at the bottom left corner of the Chips packet. Now select all the layers and group it using the shortcut Ctrl and G. Let's rename it. After that select the background layer then create a gradient adjustment layer. Go to the gradient presets then select orange 5 preset. Change the style to radial and now increase the scale. Now select the group and hold Ctrl and T to transform the group. Let's make it small. Then select the gradient layer and create a new layer. Let's rename it to shadows. And now select the brush tool. Make sure foreground color is black. And after that right click and make a brush size like this. Then start making shadows like this. You can reduce the opacity to make it more realistic. Then let's create another layer. And rename it to shadow 2. And then make a big shadows like this. After that reduce opacity. Now let's duplicate the group using the shortcut key Ctrl and J. Then put it below the shadows layers. Let's rename it to reflection. Then hold Ctrl and T to transform it. Right click then select flip particle. Adjust the position to make a reflection. Then create a group layer mask. 
Now select the gradient tool and choose black and white gradient. Let's reverse it. Then create a line like this. Adjust the gradient to make a faded effect. After that, let's reduce the opacity. That's it for today. If you like the video and learn something new, please like this video and leave your comment below. If you want more AI videos and Photoshop tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for the notification. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.